Bikini, and I'll eat your soul, and welcome back to Mario Kart Arcade GP2. I have coffee. Hi. And I am Jack 32 x and I have Pepsi. Yay! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to say something. Anyway, um, since I screwed up in the character ordering last time, and I should have been playing as Mamechi now, I'm just gonna cut the shit and play as Toad. <laughs> Why the oh hell not? <laughs> let to let Toad have its moment. And he has a somewhat more competent vehicle than Donkey Kong, anyway. Oh, oh the barrel car, which can't turn, can't go forward, can't do anything. Hey, I still won, somehow. I don't know how, yeah. I don't know how either, but I did it. Anyway, now we're moving on to the Rainbow Cup with some of the most annoying tracks in the entire game. Well, the, the tracks themselves, the tracks themselves aren't annoying, but the 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 uh, third and fourth missions are just annoying as hell. <laughs> First one, you only get mushrooms. Second, you only get no. First one, I think the second one you only get mushrooms. The third one you only get uh, thunder sticks, and the fourth one you only get an assortment of shells. This <laughs> and the other AIs don't world. follow that rule. And now we oh dear! So Typical. they get all the Typical. enemies on. They get all the items on the board, and you just get shells. <laughs> Everyone is off to a strong start. Right? Uh, can you still see my video? No, it's frozen. <laughs> uh. How about now? Um. Yeah, it's back, but it's lagging. Oh, it's back. It's back to normal. We're good. Yay! I got a terrible start there because I forgot the controls because coffee. <laughs> like it, it, I, I don't know if I mentioned it in this playthrough, but it, due to the way it's being emulated on the Wii, it controls differently than most other Mario Kart games. It, rather oh, right. than accelerate as the A button, it's the R trigger now. Oh, right. Sort of like how Burnout or Need for Speed controls. Ah, uh, right. Those, those sort of controls were adopted by the Xbox 360 when Project Gotham Racing started using the uh, triggers to accelerate. Something like that, but yeah, when you're not paying attention, it's kind of hard to get used to. Jumping mm. is the, or firing an item is the A button now. Oh, right. Screw you, Mamechi, I have a shield yeah, no. when I drift. <laughs> shield, bitch. <laughs> oh, boy, that that's one thing I really like about this game is the ability to shield. Yeah, without having to pick up a power-up. Yeah, even though, shield. even though there's still a redundant shield power-up, <laughs> it will disappear if you run into a wall, just like the the shield that you get when you drift, so it's it's absolutely pointless. Yeah. Just a non-drifting shield. I kind of failed that shortcut, but whatever. I have a bomb, which is also a kind of a useless item. <laughs> as far as I can tell, that really wouldn't do anything on the original system either, because, um, well, I mean, it, it would, but it's still kind of useless. You hit an enemy with it, and it t it's a countdown. It's, a it's literally a time bomb, so it takes about five seconds to actually do anything. And it's not like the, it's, it's not like the thundercloud, as far as I know, where you can pass it to someone else during its no, countdown timer. It's oh, right. not an item that affects you while you're holding it, so it's not like oh, I gotta pass this off to someone else. Mm. As far as I can tell, it's not a hot potato item like that. Yeah, I've seen that used in stuff like Crush Team Racing. Mm. <laughs> Man, Rainbow Road. Be I remember playing this drunk one time. Huh? I remember playing Rainbow Road drunk one time on the oh, Wii version. Jesus. I fell off many times. <laughs> Play it while you're high. <laughs> I'd be scared of the world and everything around me. Nah. Not that I get high, I don't. But I get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, well luckily for you this isn't Rainbow Road. This is Rainbow Coaster. Oh! Technicalities, <laughs> I see. <laughs> and now we're moving on to Rainbow Downhill. 
These two <laughs> courses have one of the most interesting changes between, like, you, you know, we were talking before about the weather cycle. And by ah, the way, yeah. all mushrooms here. Uh, oh, this has God. one of the most interesting changes between those cycles. But mm -hmm. I won't spoil, even though if, if viewers have already seen the Mario Kart Arcade GP1 Let's Play, they'd already know about this. But I here won't spoil it for those who haven't. But needless Rainbow to say, downhill. it's quite interesting. Jump drifting, hmm. not I'll be intrigued to see this. And now, we begin the race. Right after a sip of coffee. <laughs> And we listen to the cut paste oh, announcer. And this time I'm going to get the. the I just got the, the start right this time. <laughs> I didn't get my timing for saying that I got the start right, though. No, because coffee. Because coffee, yes. <laughs> oh, I actually got the shortcut nicely that time. Success. Of course! <laughs> Because like, what if you like actually do a perfect lap and still lose? You'll be like, what the fuck? Yeah. Well, ironically, when you failed the, the track many okay. times, you won. D did did the announcer just say peach toad hot and exciting? I, I think I think I think he did. Oh my! <laughs> oh my! Mario is pressed. Mario ne is not amused. Yeah, the next game is just a Jerry Springer special. <laughs> Ah <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, man, this track is so trippy. Eh, I, I personally, th this is one of my favorite renditions of Rainbow Road, but personally mm. my two favorites are Rainbow Road from Mario Kart Double Dash and yeah. Mario Kart 7. Have you seen the Mario Kart? Have I've you not seen played that one? You haven't seen it then. Okay. No. So basically, it's one of those tracks that goes in a complete like it's not a loop. Rather, it just has three checkpoints. Oh right. And even better than that, it's um, it's got a remix of the theme from Mario Kart 64. Oh right, cool. Everyone yeah, likes I, Mario Kart 64. I really love Rainbow Road from Seven. Mario mm. Kart 7 is just one of my favorite Mario Kart games of all time. I think it's even better than Double Dash because it takes cues from Double Dash and this game. I love Double Dash. Like, I never had a GameCube, but my mate did, and we always used to play Battle on Luigi's Mansion just for the hell of it. The coins, the, the coins on the road in this game, that they originated in this game and they brought that into Seven. That's one of ah, the right. only. That's one of the only times Nintendo has actually acknowledged that this game exists. Yeah. Rather than Namco taking the credit for it. Yeah. Be interesting Honestly, to see... with all the with all the trouble Nintendo has had with Namco, mm. I'm surprised that they've got Namco to work on Smash Bros. I guess that's they what sort I was about of. To say. I guess they sort of sort of uh, sorted out their differences between this game and Smash Bros. Yeah. I'd, I'd assume so. And depending on when you're watching this. I'm going to predict that Smash Bros. will have Pac-Man in it. More than likely. I mean, let's look at Namco's franchises. You've got Pac-Man, you've got Tekken, you've got Ridge Racer, which I can't really see being implemented well, into Smash Bros. other than a map. They were considering implementing Tekken characters. I think that wouldn't work. I think that would be too serious for the game. I mean, oh, and Snake okay, yeah, wouldn't yeah. be? Ah, but you see, they made Snake quite comical in Smash Bros. Brawl if you play yeah, as him. Yeah, st but he's still Snake. That is true. But Snake Just has always been a bit... Just because made him com comical doesn't mean his franchise is. But oh, see, God, Thundersticks! <laughs> oh, God. But yeah, the interesting thing is, obviously, you must have heard of Sony's uh, Battle All-Stars, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, they like, just announced. Well, they so, didn't so, announce. So Smash actually, Brothers. <laughs> he, not only is he going to be in that, but it was just leaked that uh, Black Rock Stadium from Twisted Metal will be a stage, and Sackboy will be playable. From, as yeah. well as Ratchet and Clank. I'm, I am actually considering checking it out because it has a PS3 and Vita cross-platform play. And if I end up getting a Vita this year, then I might. It might be something I can be interested in because. Portable Smash Brothers is something I've been trying to get working on my PSP for some time, and the PSP, sadly, the poor thing can't really handle N64 games because of its get limited Smash Bros. Just, get, just get the latest version of Daedalus X64. I've got it working fairly decently. Is it optimized? Uh, what PSP do you have? A 2000 or 1000? 2000 Slim. 
That's the problem. I've got a 1,000 Japanese import oh, white model. Oh, you don't have the extra that. RAM. Yeah. Oh, well, you look at that. The AI has actually been improved this time, and I just noticed that the track is now nighttime in the sky. This wasn't the same way as Mario Kart Arcade GP1. In Arcade GP1, it was underwater. But uh, I was saying about the AI. First of all, I was saying about the AI here. In Arcade GP1, it was a... Um, the entire, the entire thing with the Thundersticks was set up on a uh, proximity detection where mm. they will hit you if you get even close to them, but this time they actually have a decision thing, I guess. Oh, right. Interesting. Anyway, um, Smash Bros. Uh, Smash Bros. is going to be on the 3DS as well. Yes, that's true, but I prefer the Vita over the 3DS. Meh. Raw power is... Uh, for a handheld, I mean, I mean, I'm really disappointed that Sony haven't pushed it further to be honest, because everyone was like, "Hey, it's the Vita! Hey, it's the Vita! Everyone buy the Vita! 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 Vita!" And suddenly, nothing, nothing, nil, nada. Not even in, in, they didn't even announce anything at E3. The only thing they announced at E3 was that the Vita would have PS1 games working for it. What do you freaking do? The PSP. Oh bullshit! They were all, they were already hacks. Yeah. Long well, before they announced. That's true. Long before they announced that the Vita was getting the support, there were hacks for the PSP mm. emulator built into the system that yeah. allowed it to play PS1 games. Mm. I yeah. want PS2 games. That's ex that's exactly what I want for the Vita. PS2 games on there would be amazing. They already proved that with uh, the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. Uh, got ported to Vita. Okay, they took out Peace Walker because they were trying to sell it separately. But Matt had a full version of Metal Gear Solid 3. And I'm sorry, it trounced the, DS, the 3DS version into next week. I mean, everyone was excited about uh, Metal Gear Solid 3DS, right? Yeah. But it just didn't quite work because obviously with only one stick, you've got the control problems there, and the 3DS really can't keep up hardware-wise. Say what you want about the Naked Eye 3D, I think that's a really cool tech. Personally, I'm not a fan of it because it gives me a headache, but um, at, at, at the end of the day, you can't ignore how powerful the Vita is. So if they can get PS2 games running on there, I mean, Shadow of the Colossus on there, Gran Turismo 4, uh, Jack and Daxter 1, 2, and 3, imagine them on a Vita, that would be so awesome. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd buy many, uh, I'd buy a Vita just for the PS2 games, I know that sounds weird because I've obviously got the Vita games coming out, but I'd actually buy it just for the PS2, if it had PS2 compatibility. It's about time they did it because I'm getting sick of them re-releasing PS1 games and other PS1 games. As much as a fan as I was of the PS1, obviously I had one when I was a kid, uh, Crash Bandicoot 1, 2 and 3, uh, Spyro, I had a lot of platformers for the PS, uh, PS1. But the PS2 had so many good games, and so many- it's still in production today! It's still in production. That's how successful that console was, and that's how successful the software was for it. Anyway, it Mario Kart! Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> I went off on one. It's the- it's the Pepsi. Oh boy! And because I'm, a, I'm, because I'm a long time Sony fan. Forgive what? me, forgive me Nintendo fanboys. What the hell were we even talking about? Smash Brothers, I believe? Which wasn't even Mario Kart. Okay, this one actually, this one is actually good. I the, in in Arcade GP one, you were just given shell an assortment of shells. This actually has a specific set of different items. One mm. of them being the useless shield. But I digress. Ah. However, this does bring up another thing. Uh, this is in the sky again. So the underwater thing was exclusive to Arcade GP1, I guess, because both of those tracks were underwater in the second, in the third and fourth courses of Arcade GP1. Rainbow Road underwater. My mind just exploded. It was actually really unique. I liked it so much. Hmm. Sounds it. Yeah. So, let's see. Oh, useless shield, alright. Uh. <laughs> I missed the shortcut like a dumbass. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, man. I'm getting loads of comments on my Slender video I uploaded today. I am not playing that game ever again. <laughs> ah, son of a bitch! <laughs> Technically, as that's Mrs. Pac-Man, it was a it was daughter of a bitch. Get it right. Oh lord. <laughs> oh come on. See, Donkey Kong has a thunder stick, and that item isn't even in my roster. 
Yeah, and also he was waving it around like a lunatic. <laughs> eh, still better than waving it at See? me. Look, look at that man go. It's not the AI designed to, oh, you've got this item, wave it around. Hey, it's better than, it's that bones. I think that's a skeleton. Hmm. In Rainbow Road. Interesting. Death in Rainbow Road. This is not... Liam right. is not amused! <laughs> this is not politically correct. Oh, the land boy. of wonder and dreams and trippy highness and dead animals. Uh, oh, my tires have been burst and now they're not. DK has screwed you over. Mario is banging away. Well then! Are you casually holding a tornado in your hand? <laughs> Didn't know Toad had magic powers? Uh, he'd be a more he'd be a more successful character. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, I know I'm not like I'm, I'm not. No, I'm just trying to think active. of something. I was just trying to think of. I'm, I want to talk about a game I've been playing recently, but I've I've got my mind is drawing a blank as to what it is. Because coffee. Something like that. Yes. <laughs> I know I've been playing Kirby's Return to Dreamland. But that's, that's not the most recent game I've been playing. Two? Hmm? Portal 2? No, I haven't actually played that in a few weeks now. Was it one of the Genesis games that you were showing me beforehand that which, which didn't work on the computer? TV? No, I haven't played Sonic 3 Complete in a while either. Hmm. Uh... It wasn't a Sonic game. Blink's the Time Sweeper? Yes, actually! Blink's the Time Sweeper! Thank you. Ta -da. <laughs> oh, such an obscure game that deserves more sequels. Mm. Well, I don't know why Blinks 2 was such a flop. I'll have to play it first. Which means I'll have to buy it first because I don't want... My Xbox 360 is hacked. I can download original Xbox games and play them through it. Problem is, most original Xbox games lag on the 360. Mm. That's true. That's because they were locked at certain frame rates because of the hardware. And my original Xbox isn't hacked, so I'm going to have to buy the original game before I can play it, which isn't a problem because I want to support these people. Hmm. Anyway, Although, Robo Mario! It... <gasps> what?! Behold, the Metal Sonic of our franchise that the internet had absolutely no information on until I made the last Let's Play. This is rule 198 being broken, and also, this also takes place underwater, so they're reusing the track from Arcade GP1, which is actually kind of cool. So we stand corrected, right? I guess. God damn it. <laughs> now here's the, the gimmick of this. You have no weapons, he has an endless supply of them. Oh dear god. And he's also quite fast. Yes. <laughs> Except he's not. He really sucks. But, oh, son of a bitch! <laughs> I say that and then I run over a banana peel. Anyway, yes. underwater. <gasps> I don't know what I'm doing. Now. It's the Pepsi talking, guys. <laughs> I was, gonna I was tempted to break out into Disney song and shout under the sea, but... Oh, I was gonna do the Super Mario Brothers underwater theme, but whatever. Oh, right. Oh, like the uh, false Super Mario Brothers uh, 1 ROM that uh, gives you the underwater level that says the princess is in another castle, first ending the game! <laughs> the you must minus have world. Yes, that's it. Hey, this, this is Super this Mario Brothers 1 ROM. Of How Koopa... come it's only 900 kilobytes? This section reminds me of Koopa Cape from Mario Kart Wii. Can't say I played that. Well, I played Mario Kart Wii, but I can't say I played that map. It's, Actually, it's I, my I, one I of my favorite Rainbow courses, and it was ported into 7. Ooh. But, uh, yeah. I still Blinks the Time that. Sweeper needs more sequels. And I win. <laughs> and I dance in my car. <laughs> That's the reason Metal Mario just doesn't get out and just beat you into a pulp. Uh, Robo Mario. Metal. Robo! Metal. Robo! Metal. Robo! Metal Mario is playable in Mario Kart 7. Set. Metal Mario is a completely different character, goddammit. <laughs> Robo Mario is a creation of Professor E. Gadden. Metal. Robo. Metal. 
Robo. Metal. Robo. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, my co-commentator here is going to kill me by the end of the series. <laughs> You're co-commentator. You're the co-commentator. That is true. I am the co-commentator, and you can This is my let's play. The... God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I've caused mutiny within our ranks. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's it for Let's Play Mario Kart Arcade GP2. Probably my second favorite Mario Kart, or my second favorite Mario Kart game, actually. Next Wait, to seven. Completed? Yeah, this is it. Oh, this is the first ever Let's Play I've completed! <laughs> anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next Let's Play if we ever do one co complete co-commentary like this. Hopefully we okay. will. I spoke at the wrong time, didn't I? Yes, yes, you did. Take care. My Let's Play!